Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be filming this video for you guys. Today, as you guys can tell by the title, I am filming a what is on my iPhone. I've actually got this requested so many times in the past, so I'm here doing it for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So to start off, I want to talk about which phone I have. I do have the iPhone XS Max. I got it pre-ordered when it first came out because I was just like that camera. I need it so I pre-ordered it and I got it and I'm so happy with it I love my phone I do have the gold one which you guys can't tell because of my case but I do have the gold iPhone X my lord I do have the gold iPhone XS Max but before we get on what's on the inside of my phone I want to talk about my phone case how freaking cute snake print is like totally totally in right now and this is just i love it so i followed this company on instagram and i was like holy crap i love these cases so this is the company it's called burga so the cases come in this really super cute um packaging and then you open it up and your case is inside so i also have another case to show you guys this one is similar as in it's in snake print but it's just all white super obsessed with this they have two um, types of cases on their site that you can choose from so they have these snap cases which are these ones what i purchased and i personally like these ones because they're just very sleek um i don't really like my cases to be bulky if you guys know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about so i really like how like sleek this looks on my phone it doesn't make it like bulky or anything but then they also have the cases that are called the tough cases which um are a little bit more bulky but they're just really protective for your phone so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm totally obsessed with these phone cases. They have so many different options to choose from. And they're like, the styles are like in. Like you guys will know what I'm talking about once you go check on the website. But if you guys do decide you guys want to purchase one of these phone cases, I have a discount code for you guys. So I will leave it in the description box below and I will also place it right here. The discount code is just JadenSolis15 and you get 15% off of your order, which let me tell you guys, the cases are already very inexpensive to begin with for freaking great quality. They're very inexpensive. These cases are like, I think $18 each. And then you also on top of that get 15% off with my code and then on top of that it's free shipping so like you know like i'm so excited to be working with them and i'm so excited to share that with you guys if you guys do decide to purchase a phone case go ahead and let me know in the comments below which ones you purchased or dm me or something i just want to know i know there's so many that i want to order so i want to know what you guys order let me know Ooh, I just feel like I just spit out so much information at once. I am sorry, but now that you guys know what I have on the outside of my phone, let's go ahead and get to what's on the inside. Sorry if anything looks different, my camera cut off, so I had to like restart again. And also I apologize for the terrible lighting. I know it's like dark over here. Don't mind that, I'm really sorry. We plan on getting like box lights in here soon. Right now I just have a ring light, but better lighting will be coming soon. Don't worry, just stick with me please. As I was saying, let's go ahead and get into what is on the inside of my phone. Yeah, my wallpaper and like background and lock screen on all of that is just this like nude pale color that we have going on here. I Nude is by far my favorite color ever. Like everything nude, I'm in it. That is just me. So I just think it looks really clean on my background and everything just looks organized and well done. So I just have my um, apps split up into two screens. So I have like all of the apps I use a lot right here on this first screen. And then on the next screen, I just have all of my other apps that I use just in little categories. So starting off on the home screen, basically everything is pretty like basic. Um, so like the first four rows are just like the apps that come with the phone and then like my Chase app, which is just of course my banking. Then we have FaceTime, Gmail, YouTube. I'm always on the YouTube app. I watch so many different YouTubers, always watching videos no matter like what I'm doing. And then we have Instagram, of course. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me. It's always in the description box below. Um, and yeah, so. The next app that I have on here is Pinterest, which I don't know if you can like really follow people on Pinterest. I don't know how like that really works, but I just love, um, getting like all my inspiration comes from pinterest so like apartment um 
these are just like all like apartment inspiration everything is so cute and then i have like hair which is like just hair inspiration obviously so cute and then like fashion inspo i get a lot of um fashion ideas from pinterest as well um my dream home this is just like you know my dreaming big so i just get all of my inspiration from in from pinterest um, next I have YouTube Studio. Uh, I don't want to open it because I don't know exactly like what all information it shows But it's just like an app that if you're a youtuber you can like um, Control your content and stuff on there. Just all of that jazz um, VSCO is what I use to edit my photos. So I don't really actually I don't use it as like um, a Platform like I don't really make my pu my pictures like pu public on there. I know a lot of girls have like a bseo when they do that but i don't know i just use it just to edit my photos so for example i just like had added a filter like that's how it was without the filter and then i don't really know exactly what else i did to it but yeah that's just how i edit my photos a lot of times i like to add green on this app just a little bit so it's like i don't know makes gives a different like vibe to the photo obviously not like that but like maybe just a little bit I don't know just play around with the app that's what i like to use facebook i mainly use to talk to my family um that's just how i get in contact with all of them so my top four apps that are of course along the bottom here i have phone messages twitter and snapchat so again follow me on twitter this is my twitter for you guys i don't actually tweet that much but it's there whatever snapchat what up <laughs> all right and then getting into the fun apps over here on the second page so on the top app i just have like extra apps that didn't really fit into any other category so um there's a lot um <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this started so of course netflix where i watch all my good shows i actually don't really have time to watch netflix anymore but if like Bernie and I want to watch a new TV series, that's where we'll go. The CW, I only use that to watch Riverdale, like when I missed the episode on TV. CBS, I use to um, watch Big Brother, which is not on anymore, but during the summertime when it was on, if I missed the episode again, I would just watch it on the app. Gas Buddy is actually a really cool app. Um, all of you guys who drive should get this app. It tells you what is the cheapest gas prices around here. This sounds like i'm working for them or something but i promise i'm not so it basically just tells me like that the lowest um gas around here is two dollars 29 cents and the highest is 309 and then you can just like find the most um like the cheapest gas around you so yeah the next app is just an app for work and then facebook messenger again how i get in contact with my family we then have Airbnb, which I love just looking at Airbnbs like for different places. Again, just getting inspiration for like where I want to travel to and stuff like that. And also like when Bernie and I went to LA, we stayed in an Airbnb. So it's just a convenient app. And then we have the wallet app and then Fit by Katie. I used this a lot during the summer when I was going to the gym like every day. Um, oh, I'm signed out of it. I haven't even signed in into it since I got my new phone like two months ago. That's how you know I don't go to the gym. <laughs> but um i don't want to study you right now but it's just like i don't know if you guys follow her name's like katie hearn or something like that on instagram she's just like this fitness guru and so i bought her workout plan i think it's like a hundred bucks the one that i got but it's really really good because it like t tells you five days of the week what to do on each day stuff like that so it's just really nice and it also gives you like a nutrition guide and all that and then have find my alpha find my alpha what the hell is going on today I have find my iPhone health and then fly Delta I just like when I'm looking at flights and stuff I always look at Delta because that's my favorite airline bitmoji let's see if we can show you guys what my bitmoji looks like <laughs> weird flex but okay I feel like my bitmoji looks kind of like me she's a little dark you know but yeah I then have Allstate which is boring just my car insurance uber boring credit karma um is just like how i keep track of my credit score making sure it's always improving making sure it's where i want it to be so credit karma is a really good app allegiant again i use that to find cheap flights they're not the best flights but they're cheap flights 
um, Bird, I used a lot, a lot, a lot in LA, which you guys seen in our LA vlog, but Bird, um, you guys know is just like the Bird scooters. Lyft, just like Uber, sometimes it's cheaper, so I have that. Lime, um, I got the Lime app because we have more Lime scooters like on my campus at school than we have Birds, but I never have used it. Then just the measuring app, Yelp, which if I'm like going to a new restaurant or anything like that, we'll just Yelp it. And then the movie theater app. So that was kind of a lot, but that's all that. I then have my photography folder. So in the first one, we have Facetune, which I just mainly, what do I use Facetune for? I don't, um, maybe if I'm looking like oily in a photo, I will like tap, let's see what I used it for here. Is there any difference? Oh, I guess I didn't use it on that photo. But um, I don't really find myself using Facetune too much unless I'm looking oily in a photo. Next we have the Canon Camera Connect, which just like makes it easy to get my photos from my camera to my phone. iMovie I don't use. Airbrush I'll use to like white and stuff. So um, there was a photo. Let me not open my library because I don't actually there's nothing bad in there. There was a photo, this photo right here, I used um let's see this is not the exact photo but before i edited the photo my sweater was like a cream but you can see um i just used the whiten app or the whiten tool and i just whitened it so it's like more aesthetically pleasing you know i just whitened my sweater so that's what i used this app for <laughs> and then that app is like the app the kiki Ki Ki the Kira Kira, is that what it's called? I don't know. I've never used it, but it's what people use to put like sparklies over their videos and stuff. Over is the app that I use to make my thumbnails. So if you guys are a YouTuber or if you want to be a YouTuber, I suggest getting this app. Like this is a really cute thumbnail and I used this um, and this is the app that I use to create it. So yeah, I always use my thumbnails on there or if I'm making like an Instagram story with like words, I will use that app as well. Gliche, I don't use it. I have it on here. I don't know. I never use it. Oh, I don't look at that photo, my lord. <laughs> I just don't use it. And then Huji, again, don't use. I think it costs money if you want to like um, be able to put like the effect on any photo. If not, you just have to use the camera app, which honestly who really like opens the camera apps in, in the actual app and takes a picture like you know how like on twitter when you're choosing like your little avi you can open it up and it says take photo now like i always wonder like who actually or like imagine being pretty enough to just open that and just be able to take the picture and be good i don't know maybe i'm crazy but that's something i always wonder and then we have Dropbox, which we just use when like we're like when I need to send a video to Eddie to, to Eddie. Oh my god, to send a video to Bernie to edit. And then Collageable is which um, is the app that I use to put all my photos together, create a collage when I'm doing like thumbnails and stuff. The next app is actually pretty boring. I don't even know if I should go through it with you guys. It's just my education app that I use for like school. So. All of that stuff is there, pretty boring, not even going to talk about it. The next folder is probably my favorites folder. It is the shopping folder. So first we have Amazon. I use Amazon so much. I love Amazon. You can find anything on Amazon. The next app is Venmo, which I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's just like sending money um, to like your friends if you guys need to like pay each other or anything like that. Poshmark I used to use a lot. I don't really use it anymore. I used to, uh, again, I have not signed into it on my new phone, but I used to use it a lot. Like I would sell stuff. Um, I don't think I ever really bought anything on there, but I would sell a lot of the stuff that I did use on there. It was super convenient, super easy. Offer up, I used that app to like sell my old phone and then also like Bernie, if he's like selling car parts or anything, he'll use that app. Walgreens, I only have it to like to refill my prescriptions. I then have the Like to Know app, which one of my favorite YouTubers right here, Diana Chantel, she uses this app a lot. I basically have this app because of her. She always posts her like outfits on Instagram and then she uses this app to show us where she got everything. So love that app. Doe, I don't use it anymore. I think it's just like a shopping thing. Um, like I said, I don't really use it at all anymore. Pretty Little 
Little Thing. I love Pretty Little Thing. This is one of my favorite clothing stores because they're just super, super, super inexpensive, but everything is so cute. Let's see if it'll let me show you guys what's in my cart right now. Oh, it says I only have one thing. Okay, well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, next we have a goat, which is just um, like a shoe thing. I have not ordered anything from here. Again, not logged in. You guys, I have not used some of these apps in a very long time. That's why I'm not logged into them because since I got my new phone, like everything resets. But they're there. So, and then Target, I just really use only to see if there's like um, sales going on and stuff like that or coupons, you know, you know. And then another one of my favorite folders, the food folder. So I just have Starbucks. Um, I never actually use the app. I'll go in store, buy things. And I'm like, every single day I go to Starbucks, why don't I use the app to get rewards? But I just don't, because I'm stupid. <laughs> I then have Quadobo, which I have not had in a long time. I just put it on there because it's next to my campus and I want to try it. Chipotle, of course. And then Tap and Go, which is just like um, my food app kind of for like the food on campus if I want to order something at like, like a cafe or something I just order it on there and my camera is about to die so if it dies I am sorry but thank you guys for sitting here and watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed I know I talked really fast and I'm sorry I just wanted to get through everything like always leave a video request down below that you guys would like to see be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I'm super excited to start making more videos for you guys and I hope you guys are excited just like me and better lighting coming soon don't you worry girls don't you worry but that is it for this video I think yeah, I feel like I've been talking so fast and my mouth hurts from talking. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.